Hey guys, it's Kelly. A few things I want to talk about before I start my doodle of the day. Um, I'm going to put down in the about section, I got this, the two most beautiful things today happened for me. Um, I woke up cranky, you know, I've been in this flare up for, it's like weeks now and I'm so sick and everything else. And, um, so I get this, uh, this message from this gentleman, um, I think it was yesterday or whatever, and he was saying how much he liked my videos and everything. And then today he went and he had asked if he could use my video for something. And a lot of people ask if they can share it and whatever. And I'm like, of course, you know, but what he did was wrote the most beautiful um, blog post um, about me and my videos, which were so moving and touched me so deeply and meant so much to me. So I'm going to put that down in the about section underneath this video for you guys. I'm asking you guys to just go, um, click it, read his, read what he wrote about me, his blog, leave a comment and share it. Um, he does crafts also. Uh, I believe he does cards and whatnot. Um, as y'all know, I am not a card maker. I don't, I, I just can't make cards, <laughs> but um, you also might find, um, some of what he does, you know, uh, fitting in with what you guys like to do. So I don't know if he has a Google sign up or whatever. Um, but you can follow his blog and everything like that. And if you guys would also, um, maybe send it out to Google land, uh, you know, repost it for me or on Facebook or something to get him some more hits and stuff like that. I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, I know a lot of you don't like to do that kind of thing, but um, if you're willing, I'd really appreciate it. Um, second thing that happened just a few minutes ago was the mailman came and left me a package and came in and I about peed myself when I opened it. And you know, I'm a peer when I get excited. So my girl Gabby and her name on... Um, She's from the Netherlands, by the way. Her name on um, YouTube is ASMR Gabriella. And you, we've all seen her comment and, and everything like that. I know her. I know who she is. She's Gabby. And she sent me the most beautiful things, crocheted things. And she suffers um, from chronic illnesses also. Most beautiful, beautiful things. So I'm going to start. Um, this is going to be my doodle journal, my doodle, doodle video, but I'm starting out with this because I made a clay video earlier on, um, a leopard cane and, um, for beginners and, uh, you know, us, <laughs> us disabled folks and beginners. I mean, it's just a basic, you know, it's a Kelly video. Um, so anyway, I don't enough about me. Look how beautiful this is. It's like a paisley. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to actually put these, I'm going to go buy frames and put some of these in frames because she said, you know, I can use them on my mixed media and all, but there's a lot I'm going to hang up um, and frame them because they're absolutely deliciously gorgeous. And then look, look how beautiful a little bird with his little eye with his wing. Oh my gosh. Look at this 3d. It's a butterfly. Look. It's wings. I can't. I, I might have to put a clip on this and wear this in my hair out of love. Look how beautiful. I'm blown away. Look at this little cupcake. How cute. I'm a knitter. I'm not a crocheter. <laughs> Crocheting and me do not mix. I can do a really long chain though. But I could never do these. Beautiful. Oh, look how cute. So I just want to show her beautiful work. I think she sells them. I'm going to have to... Gabby, if you're watching this and you have an Etsy store, put it below, please. She makes beautiful stuff. And wait, I'm just... I don't want to... I'm just going to kind of lay a few out here of the smaller ones. Look at the fish. Oh, how cute. Because I got 
the, I want to get to my drawing, but these are so beautiful. I have to show, I mean, look at that. I have to show, love this one. I love them all. My red's off, you know, because I'm colorblind. We won't get into it. Oh, look how cute. These I'm going to use into a mixed media. I think these little fish are so sweet. Look at it. How cute. I hope she doesn't kill me for showing, but they're so beautiful. Look how cute. Little heart. Can you even see? It's hard to... Look how beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And this is from the Netherlands. Look how cute. Let me see. Oh, I love the neon and the orange. I'm just going to set these. Love, love. You know I love me my sparkle. Look how cute. I'm going to lay them on the paper and bring it closer so you all can see. These are just absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And then I'm going to save the last thing for last. And that's not, this isn't even all, I mean, of what she sent. I mean, look, gorgeous. Look how cute this is. It's a flower. Like, this would be so awesome. Like, I would put a little glitter around it and put it on one of my girl's hairs when I'm doing. Look how cute. Look, this is so sweet. I don't know what side I like better. God, me and my color blindness. Oh, I'm so sorry. Because that kind of looks kind of hard to look at. My reds and oranges. Because of my color blind. Yeah, that's way off. Look how sweet. Oh, my gosh. More hearts, which I, I will definitely, I'll save one and then use them in my art. Uh, purple is my favorite color. I think I'm going to say, anyway, I'll lift them up and show you because I can't even. Okay. So let's just real quick. I'm going to do this so you guys can get a look at all these beautiful little, I mean, I don't even know how the hell she crochets so little. I mean, I know how I knit little with little teeny needles, but, and then plus all these that I showed you, but I got to put these over here for a second. The piece of resistance. All right. Can I just say definitely be in frame. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at it. I'm like the luckiest girl ever. I mean, she did look. Look at the eyes and the flowers in the hair. I am so lucky. I love Day of the Dead and this is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is being framed. I might even mat, like do a mat around the frame and frame it so it doesn't get damaged. This is, uh, you know, my room is full of art on the walls everywhere that people send me. I have it all over the right side of my room behind me. I have more I need to hang. And this is just absolutely, I, I can't, I, I don't, words can't even describe how beautiful this is. So I am just thrilled beyond belief. I'm like Instagram that picture. And then she sent me some really great papers. This is awesome. This is going into a mixed media piece. These two, look how awesome this is. Look how bright and beautiful. And then some little foamy stickers. Beautiful cut out pieces. This one has and some stars. And just beautiful pieces that I'm going to use in a another little napkin. Look how cute. Oh my God. Could you just pee yourself? I could because you know I always get excited. And then she sent me a bunch of papers. Hello. Look at that. Right up my alley. And these, because they're all beautiful and like they correspond, 
with the pink and all are going to be into a painting. So excited. So excited. So excited. So excited. So thank you so much, Gabby. I'm going to uh, write you on Facebook to thank you again. I hope you don't get angry at me um, showing everybody. But it was just so wonderful and I just couldn't help it. So thank you guys and thank you. His Jesus name is, I just want to say his name. But like I said, you'll find his link. I think it's, I, I don't even know if I know his full name because I know it's ASW Creations. about him I mean he does a lot of stuff he ain't telling me his name unless I'm missing it maybe he don't want me to know his name maybe he doesn't want me to stalk him NB might be his initials. But um, if you go to his, like I said, if you go to the link for me, read his about me section. He has a lot of great stuff that he does and, and that he works in and um, that he does. And he has a great philosophy about being creative. Uh, he was a photographer is a photographer. And like I said, it's ASW Creations. So I don't know. And I'm horrible with names anyway. So he'd tell me his name 20 times and I would forget. He has crafting videos um, on here. Like Here's a video that I did on wax paper, how it's used, what could be done with it. Um, he's, let's see, birthday cards, just, just a bunch of stuff. So it's a really interesting website, and I'm going to check it out more later. Um, but for now, like I said, I'm going to leave it down in the link below. And y'all, read the article about me and give him some love. And I uh, want to thank him publicly. Thank you very much. Um, I feel very blessed, very lucky, and I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Very thrilled. Now to go on with my drawing of the day, which I'm sure I'll get thumbs down because I talked way too much in the beginning, but I don't care. I'm changing my paper because I can't stand my paper. I'm so tired of that crappy paper in this. This is definitely for me to... Remember, I started out with Medill and Madoodles, and I, I started late, but this was my one doodle. You know, all right. I don't know. Oh, I, I gessoed that paper. This was my next doodle, which was great because it's just a black marker with pencil. No big deal. Then I did this girl yesterday, but I hated her eyes, and I hated, like... I just didn't dig it doing graphite on it. So I'm going to use this for many other things, but I think I'm changing my, <clears throat> my plan for my drawing and just using cardstock. Today I just did it in half. That way I can do one on here, one on here, one on here, and one on here. And then if I have um, used wet media, then I can always just get another piece of cardstock. So now what am I going to draw? That I don't know. Let me try Let's see what we can do. Oh, I don't feel like doing anything creepy today. I've had a good day, so I don't feel like being creepy. Um, maybe I'll just do a girl. Just a face. Nothing fancy.
And of course, I'm using my crappy eraser because I grabbed the wrong pencil, but whatever. And I want her hair to kind of... Just kind of putting her hair in right now so I get an idea. And then I will use my... What shall I use? To kind of make them straight. Remember when you're doing eyes, this is just a doodle. So don't, you know, when you're doing eyes, you want basically equal parts in between the eyes as you'd have the eye. So if I have the eye an inch long, you want an inch in between and then an inch for your next eye. Um, of course, you can deviate that. Deviate? Is that a word? Deviant? No. Deviate? Yeah. Um, from that, whatever way you want your face to be. But I'm just telling you. I don't really measure. I just kind of eye it out. I'm, I'm more want these to be more, you know, the same, like I can see right here, it's a little longer. This is the worst freaking eraser in the world. But yet she chooses to use it. Hmm. Let's take her nose down. Now you can split her face in half, you know how we do. So you kind of get that little bit of something, something. And we'll do her nose here. You know how I like to do my nose. And I do noses a million different ways. Since I'm just sketching. I didn't get out my pencils today because I had this like big thing I was going to clean today. And I might still in here. I have to clean in here. I'm like, it's like I got trays and ugh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I've been so miserable being so sick lately. And then... My husband, who I had him cancel my RA appointment and just don't want to go back for a while, decided, because he was not happy about that, decided, yeah, I'll reschedule for you. And then he comes in and says, uh, yeah, you're going Friday for blood to get your blood taken, and then you will go next Thursday to the RA doctor. So he hasn't been very kind to me today. Because he knows how I get. I just don't feel like being touched. I don't want anybody touching me. I don't want new med. I, I know, I know why I'm doing it because I don't want to get new medicine. And I knew, I knew that's why I canceled in December, which I was supposed to go back because I was supposed to get new medicine, and uh, I didn't. I didn't go. I canceled. So. He showed me. And since he takes me and gives me all my medicine and takes care of me because I can barely function, okay, there's our face of fall. The head looks kind of like she's got like a little turban thing going on. I don't know, I might be changing that. We'll see. Give her a nice little neck. But, um, yeah, so he kind of, he kind of ruined my day with that this morning. So when I got, when I saw the blog post and then I got my thing in the mail, I was like, thank you, you universe. Because, you know, I believe in that stuff. Like, just thank you so much. And then my cat tree came today for my cat. And I'm just like, thank you so much, universe, because... I really need it. I think I'm going to make these a little bit bigger. I won't bore you and color this in. It's been one of them days. Then after he told me that whole RA, my RA doctor thing. And to boot, you know I'm not a morning person. 8.45 in the morning. For the appointment and 9 o'clock in the morning for the blood. For this Friday. Not good. 
does not make me happy. So I'm gonna give her a little bit of eyelids. Now at that point, when you do the eyes like I just did, you can keep them um, like, like as if she's closing her eyes, daydreaming. Which apparently today I'm not. Now I have my green thing that I use for my eyes. I can always go in, find a big eyeball, and put it at the bottom. Probably be better to do this one. Kind of trace it. And make sure you remember which one it is and don't do like I do and uh, forget and then have two different eyes. that shall happen. All right, so so far, that's my ditto. Getting there. Now let's do the pupil. Let's do a smaller pupil. These are great. I love them. I am having, I'm going to do a video. I'm, I'm going to do this and then go down and take a shower and then um, do a quick talk video. It's like my 12th video for the day, I think, which I was going to save my, like my stuff from my people, the, the blog post and the stuff from Gabby for that. But then I was so freaking excited and like over the video, I mean, over the um, blog post and all that, that I couldn't. I couldn't wait. I had to do it in this thing. So those of you who watch me, you know how I am. And here's my face so far. And over here, she got. She looks like she got Kelly syndrome and got the basketball face, which I don't like. So we shall bring it in a little. All right, I really would like to color her in, but I could color her in on my own so I don't bore the piss out of everybody. Okay. I should have done curly hair on her because now I'll end up, when I go to color this, erasing this hair. But just so you kind of get a finished kind of look. Should have done curly because if you saw my hair today, you would say, Somebody let that child get out of the bed like that. And this is not going to be perfect. Please, again, excuse, excuse me. Just because I'm trying, I'm being a little quick here, so. But I love drawing me some faces. Now, how cute would this be on a canvas, which I might do, and then, um, her chin's too long, um, and then do like a cute little... Like she has like a little, little thing in her hair. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm excited. Very excited. Now my doll's coming around and like, do we have food? Do we have food in here? Is there food? Okay. So I'm liking it. I'm still thinking this is a little too round. Don't need her to have pumpkin head syndrome like I have. I'm digging her. So this would be colored in black.
and then her eyes and her lips. And I might do a little thing there, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna erase these lines. This is one of the best erasers ever in life. This Vanish. I might take a look and see if I can find it at my store or buy a couple and do a giveaway. I am doing a giveaway. Oh, um, I told you I'm going to talk about that one. In <laughs> my next video later on tonight, so. Keep your eyes and ears open. I might color this in. Yeah, boy. I'm digging her. I think she might have a little bit too long of a chin. Let's see what this makes her face look like. That's how you know. I don't think she needs a little divot down there though, do you think? Yeah, I think I like that better. Her neck and then do her chin. I'm digging on her. Now, this is today's doodle of the day for Poet, uh, poet Spice. This is 1814. And this is what I did. And when I do my next one tomorrow, I will have her colored in or when I do my video after my shower because my fiber and are kicking my ass and they're like, get your ass in the hot shower. So I might have her colored in when I do my next video and show you. I apologize. She ain't, she ain't fancy schmancy or beautiful, but it was a quick video. It was a quick one. So I love doing this doodle of the day. I love this. I, I just, I'm. Again, I am so blessed, so blessed by all my subbies, all my peeps, all my emails I get, all my messages, my packages, my um, just just the friends that I've made, the the community that we have just the community that we have ha we have here is just amazing to me, and I'm so glad that when I left things crafty that um when i thought like i just can't do this anymore i i need to be on my own so when i'm sick i don't have to film or do or be expected you know somebody depend on me for things you know and i started doing my youtube again and it just took off and i've gained i'm gaining subs i'm up to like way over 17 1700 now and i started off at 200 and I think within the last like two weeks, two and a half weeks, I gained like a hundred people and I am so blessed and I hope you keep sharing my stuff and everything like that. Um, the more people we get, the more, uh, I, like I said, I got giveaways planned out. We're going to, I'm going to be hooking these up. So, uh, make sure that you're subbed. If you found me accidentally, um, please sub, please share my videos. And if you like this video, and you like me doing drawings and you like what I do on here, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And uh, as always, leave comments. I love comments. Leave questions. Leave requests for what you want to see. Um, my video prior to this is my, um, uh, I did a leopard cane out of Paul Armour Clay. Um, wicked fun. I had so much fun doing it. And, um, I, I had about, like I said, 60, uh, emails sitting there begging me for my next cane thing. And I have my leopard pants on, as you can see, leopard pants. So I was like, I'm going to be doing some leopard today. So I hope y'all enjoy that and watch that. I'm going to bake off a few slices and put them within the giveaway that I'm going to talk about. 
to add to your mixed media pieces or just to have. Um, I'll cleanse them um, as I do, you know, uh, being Wiccan and Pagan, um, but I will cleanse them so they will be cleansed. So if you just want to put them um, and set them around for good luck and whatnot, then you can do that also. And, um, or use them in your art or whatever you want to do with them. And I will see you in um, my giveaway information video, which will be up in a few hours. So as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I thank each and every one of you so very much for all your love and support. I can't thank you guys enough. And please, again, I'm, I'm really begging you to click on the link in the about section of the um, post that was written about me and leave a comment and even sign up for his newsletter if he has one or his Google or whatever um, to show support to him and spread him around to get him more, um, you know, out there more. You know, we all want to, uh, that's why I love supporting people. And, um, I talk about like when somebody does art that I see or, um, also, um, Veronica did, which I think most of you have seen, I'll put the link down below. Also, she does a just really cool boot thing that I'm thinking, looking around like, mm, what can I do? What can I do? Because it's going to look awesome. And I'm going to send her a few steampunk things to add to that bad boy. And, um, she did a really cool thing and I'll put her link below. And again, Give me a thumbs up if you like uh, what I do here and, um, you know, and share. I love sharing and I, I love, uh, I just love you guys. So I'm done babbling. I'm just so over emotional today with the kindness that I've experienced today from um, people that um, I talk a lot, <laughs> like y'all didn't know. So here's my doodle for Poet Spice. And... I will color her and I might make something I don't know, but I'm going to cardstock because I could have never drawn her as well as I did on that paper. That paper is for me to sit on the couch and sketch on and with my ideas. And this is for it to come to fruition. Fluition? Fruition? Mm-hmm. That word. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot. And many blessings to you all. Thank you all so much. Bye.